Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it's not on many opportunities I stand in this house and I feel emotional. But this morning, Mr. Speaker, with this motion, I have feelings of jubilation, feelings of excitement, feelings of satisfaction, Mr. Speaker, because <coughs> this motion before us to borrow 1.2 1.203 million US dollars, Mr. Speaker, for the past year's community water supply project. This is something, Mr. Speaker, that is just indicative of what the St. Richard Labour Party and what this government stands for. <coughs> and, Mr. Speaker, I stand here as the first parliamentary rep for Miku North under the ticket of the St. Richard Labour Party. And the problem that we are about to solve because of this motion, Mr. Speaker, is one that has been in existence for about 40 years or over 40 years in the community. And under the stewardship and under the watch of several other parliamentarians, Mr. Speaker, there was no need or they did not see the need to address such a critical problem in Mikunov. Mr. Speaker, the Passius Water Supply Project this is going to benefit the people of Prale, the people of Mamiku, Loba and Lao, the Monipo village, Grass Street, Pasia, St. Mary, La Point, Coolie Town, Maguetut, Vietnam. Mr. Speaker, we're speaking about more than half of the community. Yeah. We're speaking about more than half of the Mikunov constituency. <coughs> and Mr. Speaker, you ask how did we get to the stage where we are today? Over four decades ago, Mr. Speaker, the Passius Water Supply Project commenced and completed and this project has seen Hurricane Allen more than one it has seen Hurricane the Christmas trough Mr. Speaker Hurricane Debbie I think in 1994 I was still a little boy Hurricane Thomas in 2010 I have to look at the technology that was used in that particular system, Mr. Speaker. This system works on gravity. The catchment for this current system, to be able to get to this catchment, Mr. Speaker, it would take, on average, after you drive, you would have to pack and walk for in excess of three hours to just get to the catchment. And on days, or if you have hurricanes, and you have difficulty, it becomes very difficult for Wasco to be able to access the areas because, it's because of how remote it is. And this has caused problems throughout the community. And I know that you have people like Miss Tessa and who would give me leaks 24 7, Mr. Speaker, because they believe that it's long overdue and that we really should have, government should really do take some form of intervention as it relates to Wasco and the water supply in Passes. Because water is not something, Mr. Speaker, that is a luxury. Water is a necessity. The slogan says it, water is life. And when you have schools, you have elderly persons who rely on water. And we live in a rural area. Mikunov is a rural area, Mr. Speaker. We're not the community where everybody can afford a 1,000 or 2,000 gallon tank for storage. And even that, Mr. Speaker, does not suffice because we've had on numerous occasions too numerous to mention, Mr. Speaker. When the water supply, when we don't have water in the taps in Mikunov, it goes on for three, four, five, six days, sometimes eight days, sometimes ten days, Mr. Speaker. And even if you have the comfort of a thousand gallon ton, Mr. Speaker, within three or four days, there is no water. And even the remedial measures that Wasco try, where they pass with the water trucks, Mr. Speaker, this in itself has provided its own challenges because the truck can only go certain places. So, for instance, the people on the base, those people inside by Furniture City, 
they would not be able to get any water because the Wasco trucks are not able to enter or access these areas. And these people are denied water, notwithstanding the fact that they continue to pay their water bills, like all the people in Castries, Viewfort, Cape State, and the likes. And, Mr. Speaker, it had to take a caring government. It had to take a prime minister who understands what it is not to have running water at your home. It had to take a prime minister who listens, Mr. Speaker. And even before I thank the prime minister, Mr. Speaker, I, um, I like to give Jack their jacket, Mr. Speaker, so I will not make it seem like nothing was done over the time um, that the, the, former administration, the former administration was in government. There was a replacement tank, a bigger tank placed at Roba. There was a, a, um, and they also did some rehabilitative works on the tank in St. Mary. That's St. Mary, Pastor, St. Mary. So, there were some works done, Mr. Speaker, but that in itself did little to nothing to help solve the problem of the water. And it just shows, Mr. Speaker, that the current system is one that can no longer, it has met its capacity. Currently, Mr. Speaker, we have in excess of 4,700 persons living within the areas that I just mentioned. And our school has, I think, Mr. Speaker, over 2,000 water connections within that area. So when you, when you have in excess of 2,000 people, Mr. Speaker, 2,000 homes without water for a period of eight days, imagine the pastor's combined school, the Emmanuel SDA school, the preschools within the vicinity, Mr. Speaker, and these children have had to stay home. Myra Sachs, they care. This train have had to stay home, Mr. Speaker, because for days and days, there, are, there is no running water in the tap. So as parliamentary representative, Mr. Speaker, I want to express my gratitude to the Prime Minister. And he said it, I came and I asked for it. Because I felt the pressure, Mr. Speaker, I always accede to the request of my constituents. And at every meeting that we have, and even the last community meeting that I had, although it had nothing to do with Wasco, we were speaking about the wind playing field and the cemetery, questions were raised about the water shortages that we experience in Miku North, especially in the northern end of the constituency. And persons really wanted to know what it is that, or what is the plan that we have. And I'm happy to say that we don't have a plan, but we're taking action. Um, and the Prime Minister has seen it fit. And Mr. Prime Minister, I want the records to show that I want to express my full gratitude to you and to the other cabinet colleagues for seeing the need. And these are projects, Mr. Speaker. These are not projects that we are going to so key guy in Kesa. There is guy in that project, Mr. Speaker. I can tell you that there is a lot of guy in that project because right now, what this is going to do is going to really help solve that problem. And I can tell you, when I do my um, community tours, my house visits, everywhere in the community, somebody has a complaint about he tells what I feel by about Glossa. He says what I feel about situation of Glossa. And I know people like Pepe and Alan and those other Wasco, these individuals who work for Wasco within the community. They come under a lot of pressure. At times, persons would even insult them and they have to take the blows for Wasco. But we have to be honest and say that the current system, it cannot supply, it, is, it has outlived its usefulness, if you want to put it that, that way, Mr. Speaker. The capacity at the time when this system was set up, there was not so much development in the community. We've seen so much expansion. The WEN, uh, quite a bit of expansion have happened in the WEN area, in the Mamiku area. And because it has become very expensive, Mr. Speaker, because of the amount of pressure that we're putting on, on the current WASCO system, it has become a challenge for WASCO to even allow persons to, to put in the necessary infrastructure for individuals when they want to go into um, land expansion or to, to prepare their land for sale. So I know there are persons like um, Octavian and others who would welcome such an initiative. Uh, but I think one of the persons who would be the happiest is Ms. Tessa Mangal because she has even gone to social media, Mr. Speaker, to express her feelings about the lack of, of, of water in the community. And she is someone who has a water tank, and when she complains, her water tank has already run dry. So you can imagine how persons who don't have access to a water tank, what type of, of, of situation that they have to endure. Mevle D 
ça m'a dit là, pas toi, M. Speaker, parce que là, il y a un chai qui a coûté qui sort de mon pot avec un espresso. C'est plus gros citoyen. Et qui ouvre les savent, chaque l'air, ils jouent les chimères, ils ouvre les savent. Qui ça nous a fait avoir une situation, là, nous toujours pas négro, un citoyen, un commune. Et le système là, là, nous, nous, à mon pot, à présent, M. Speaker, il y a quatre chimères. Le système ça, ni pour supporter Jean Poilin, Jean Mamikou, Jean Moupou, Jean Grasschut, Jean La Pointe, Jean Vietnam, Jean Magritout, Jean Sete Marie, Jean Loba. Et puis, la situation c'est yon, que tant que qui l'a prise, hein, il est trop petit, et puis il y a un chai pressure. Et tout petit pour bailler tout le monde glo. Et puis ça, il y a qu'à faire, c'est qu'il y a qu'à délai, il y a la panique glo. Et puis côté à glo, côté à catchment, il y a prise. Pour y jouer là, ça c'est côté machine pas ça aller. Ce monde, il y a ce qu'il y a, il y a plus tombé. Fait des descendre, il y a barré, il y a un barré qui est gros strain, il y a barré. Pour y aller, il y a un barré qui fait ça par la main, ça c'est pas un barré qui a fait par quoi. Il y a un barré qui a fait ça par quoi, il y a un barré qui a fait ça avant toi un éditeur pour y venir qu'au catchment là il y avait là une boutique et puis ça a fait ça a fait situation pour délai qui a pris combien de jours pour nous avoir joué une gloire cité nous avec délai là nous jouons une gloire nous en côté qui a joué une série racheté nous qui a racheté une gloire et bien délai gloire qui a venu des éboueurs les gars fait trois éboueurs la panique gloire quoi et puis ça a fait tout l'autre qualité problème commune il a fait situation pour l'école ni pour fermer parce que c'est même elle a passé l'école parce que toi les tu as pas ni glo un peu vite là il n'y a pas de glo pour se laver la main. C'est un petit pour vivre dans le caillou. Et quand il y a des parents qui ont pris ça, parce que y a des pour être et puis c'est même là. Parce qu'il n'y a pas de savoir que c'est même là l'école, parce que l'école est fermée. Et ça a fait des ça a aller pour des 8 jours, 9 jours, nous ne pouvons pas s'accorder avec nous. Et puis la tenue, même le gouvernement là avant moi, le problème ça, ce n'est pas un problème qui commence à avancer et à bien. Le problème ça, c'est un problème, nous expliquons, depuis moi même, je suis à l'école. Nous n'avons pas de problème ça, un micro. Le problème ça, c'est que combien de fois le Parlement de a venu, il a joué un problème là, là et puis il a quitté là. Parce que, il a de, même si ça a affecté tout le monde, pour une raison et pour l'autre, mais pas ça, pour qui raison, mais il a pas été nécessaire pour ça, dire les problèmes ça, that nous tenons à ce qu'il y a pour Glo, un micro neuf. Mais le gouvernement, ça, et puis le Premier ministre, ça, il est important, M. le Speaker. Moi, je suis moi je dis comme ça, que moi, je vais prêcher. Les moi, je suis à faire, les moi, je suis à faire, 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 je suis à et puis, je dis, je n'ai pas les Premier ministre, je n'ai pas les Premier ministre, je Premier ministre, je n'ai pas les deux fois. Il dit, moi, je n'ai pas les Premier ministre, et puis, pas... J'ai l'autre après, je finis par parler, puis le Premier ministre, il dit, mais comme ça, nous avons aidé Wasco, sur la Wasco, il a aidé ces gens, um, Mikounov. Et puis, je voulais remercier le Premier ministre pour qu'il soit nécessaire, pour qu'il soit important, M. le Speaker, pour mener le mouchon de sa douve, car il est Et pour qu'il soit nécessaire pour aider les gens, et puis Glo, parce que Glo, ce n'est pas un bagage dat um, nous a fait style. Et puis, nous brisons Glo pour nous vivre, Glo c'est la vie. Et puis, pour qu'il y ait un Et comme on dit, la tina chai moun avant nous quitter là, et que le parti est nécessaire pour mener, pour, et bien pour, pour improve le système là, qui est dans mon repos. Et comme on dit, vous avez fait un petit barrage, vous avez fait un petit tank, vous avez fait un petit tank, vous avez fait et puis vous faites un travail à sous tank là, qui était 7 mois, oui. Mais ça n'a pas assez parce que le système là, qui a mené à tank là, c'est le même système là, qui n'a pas problème là. Mais ça nous a fait aujourd'hui assez, nous avons arrangé le système là. Et ce système là, nous avons arrangé le système là, parce que quand il mettait à prison, c'est Yon Koyo Kaini, ça a créé un pompe système. Il n'y a pas qu'à arriver là sous gravité. Et puis le système là, quand il y a côté, côté, si l'année est glo, si l'année est mauvais temps, ou à ce qu'on n'a pas pu aller à ce qu'on débat trois jours pour y venir, pour aller pour nettoyer. Ou à ce qu'on a eu ça drive pour y venir là, et puis on a eu ça rejet, bagay là. Donc nous avons expect from l'air, l'argent ça a dépassé, et puis l'air système là improve, nous avons expect that temps nous avons SP, mais il y a nous avons SP après mauvais temps, pour nous en grossité nous. Dat ça a eu des sons, 
Et puis nous avons joué un groupe, peut-être deux ou trois éditeurs, quatre éditeurs, cinq éditeurs, après Google ou Descend. Parce que nous passons à l'esprit Mikou 9 pour 8 jours pour Glo. Expressement, nous avons une communauté qui est rural, nous avons une communauté qui n'est pas tout le monde qui a l'argent pour acheter des tanks. Et puis c'est le monde qui a des tanks. Ils sont still complètes dans les tanks, ils ont une chance vide avant de se faire la gloire. So, Mes expliquer, je voulais dire. That moi 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 qu'à supporter motion ça. I want to express my full support for this motion, Mr. Speaker. I know that the people of Mikunov are very excited um, with this particular motion, and it just goes to show, Mr. Speaker, the general position of this government and the Central Labour Party. This government is one that listens to the cries of people. It's one that does not just listen but acts and puts policies in place takes action to bring relief to people. And whereas, Mr. Speaker, you see, you would have, I see um, social media posts about myself saying, I have secret the parliamentary rep and the people of Labour having secret meeting in Mikunov, and they want to know what the secret meeting is about. And I can tell you what the secret meeting is about, Mr. Speaker. The secret meeting is about ensuring that we have a water supply for the people of Monipo, Pasia, Slapwet. The secret meeting is about ensuring that the jetty for Mikunov is delivered. The secret meeting is about ensuring that yesterday the fishermen of Mikunov had a fat deployed and that they get that they get the same courtesies extended to them as other people. The secret meeting was to ensure that the when playing field, Mr. Speaker, can start the secret meeting. And so if they think it's a secret, either it's public. The meeting is to ensure that the cemetery in Mikunov and the expansion, the cemetery expansion project is going to take off and that the people of Mikunov are going to get and Monipo are going to get a cemetery that they deserve. So this is what the secret meetings that I'm having is about, Mr. Speaker. So they don't need to come. They can ask me and I'll tell them what the meetings are. I'll even give them the minutes of the meetings. It's public for everybody to see. And they just start to see secret meeting. If it's secret meeting they're looking for, Mr. Speaker, it's obvious that um, we can see a little bit of discomfort in the community. A lot of people going around trying to see what can they do, but it's too late, Mr. Speaker. Mikunov is with the Senate Shall be a party. And Mikunov is staying with the Senate Shall be a party, Mr. Speaker. And under my watch, we Miku says no. And then you pay the money, you pay the sun, you prefer to do you play, Mr. Speaker. Miku can wait to say no. And I've made it my responsibility and my duty, Mr. Speaker, to ensure that I continue to remain with the people of Mikunov. And I continue to stay with them, I continue to support them, I continue to ensure that their voices are heard. And it's because I make it my responsibility to make sure that their voices are heard today. We are able to come to this honorable house, Mr. Speaker, with this motion to bring relief to several thousands of people in the community. And these are the type of projects, Mr. Speaker, that really makes me feel good as a parliamentary rep, Mr. Speaker. You sit down and you, and you see these children who are the parents' complaints, Mr. Speaker. Even on social media, they go and they tell you about the children go to school, Mr. Speaker. And come in here and you know, oh boy, once and for all, we maybe can bring this problem to a halt and children are not going to be able, children are not going to be denied um, school days because of lack of water um, at the schools. And even if the school, with the current system that they have and with the current storage facilities that they have, Mr. Speaker, about it, they, these, they, the water tanks at the school last merely a day. So once the water shortage extends or prolongs beyond a day, then school must close. So, and I know that the Minister of Education will say a few words on, on how this project will also benefit him as Minister of Education, because I know he too comes under some pressure from the, the teachers and even parents as it relates to school closing in my community. So, Mr. Speaker, I just want to say that I'm very happy that today we are in this house um, with this motion. I know, as I said earlier, the people of Mikunov are also very happy. And today is a, a very historic day for us, and that is what Mikunov is about. We continue to make history in Mikunov. The representation has been one of, of that kind, Mr. Speaker, where people are active participants in what happened in the community. We don't impose our will on them. We listen to them and we deliver on what they request. And that is one of the things that they've requested. So to be able to come here today and to be able to deliver on that, Mr. Speaker, it gives me great pleasure as a parliamentary rep to be able to stand. So I want to say thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the Prime Minister for ensuring that we delivered for the people of Mikunov. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.